Uh, Jason Good Tatum, job. meanwhile, and Jalen Brown will go to Boston combined for 45 points in game five, but only 10 of those points came in the fourth quarter. Two of nine shooting from the field. The pair also combined for nine turnovers in game five, three more than the Warriors had as an entire team. So if the Celtics are going to force a game seven, Mad Dog, uh, does Tatum or Brown need to have a better game? Well, probably the both, but if you're going to make me choose, yeah. I'm down on Jalen Brown right now. Turns the ball over constantly. He has not shot well at all in this series. He had a good start to game two. Then he was five out of 17. Was very bad there shooting the ball in game five. He's got to be better than that. All right, you know, Tatum, listen, he has his streaks. Got off to the bad start the other day. Then he played very well. Then he cools off again. They need Jalen Brown to be pretty consistent tonight. And I think they're going to win tonight anyway, or tomorrow night. I think they're going to win the game anyway. But they need Jalen Brown. They're going to win the series. I think they need two really good ball games out of him, somewhere around 50 points. I'm expecting Tatum to get his 25, 20. It might be tricky how he gets yeah. it, but his score is 57 to 60 points. But Brown is up and down. They need him to play better. I think he's the most important guy in the next two days for the Celtics if they're going to win the championship. I think your best player has got to step up in the biggest moments. I'm going with Jason Tatum. That's what I believe. I understand that Brown has been up and down, really games two and game five were where he struggled. Every other game he shot better than 46%. Uh, so I'm not going to – I'm not. I, don't get me wrong, he needs to play better, and he has turned the ball over. You're absolutely right about that. But so has Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum, and more importantly, his play in the fourth quarter, he's just too gifted, too talented to be – so pedestrian, so anemic in the fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, Stephen A., what do you attribute that to? Why well, kind of shrink JJ's the right. Fourth? JJ's right when you talk about how Golden State has amped up the, the pressure defensively. Yeah. They're like piranhas out there. Put the ball on the floor, you you playing right into their hands. And especially when Steve Kerr goes with a smaller lineup. Anybody would tell you, anybody that knows basketball would tell you, if you are a tall dude, the last thing you want when you are dribbling the basketball is somebody who can get lower to the ground on you. They can cause you some damn problems. And when Steve Kerr goes and you put a Gary Payton Jr. up in there, okay, you leave Wiggins in there, okay, you got Clay, you got Steph, you got a Jordan Poole, you bring up the, you bring an Otto Porter in the game, stuff like that. This is problematic for a guy like Jason Tatum who wants to put the ball on the floor, especially when you're playing for a team without that quintessential point guard who's the floor general and can get you the ball in your spots so you could just shoot. They've constantly found themselves in situations where they're trying to take dudes one-on-one. -on -one. The next thing you know, you get into the lane and three guys are on you. And Jason Tatum, what makes it so bad is that he's constantly looking for the calls. He's looking for help from the officials every time you turn around. You're not winning championships that way. At some point, come championship round, officials are going to look at you like, what you want me to do? You here. This is your job. We're doing our job. Play. You got to do that. He's not doing enough of that, especially in the fourth quarter. And he's got to change that in order for them to push this to a game seven. I, I, I hate agreeing with Stephen A. I really do. It just, you know, because when we when we agree on things, there's just there's just no there's no fireworks. And but I agree with you. I think the best player needs to step up, and that's Jason Tatum. Um, I, I, not to plug my own thing for twice in, in 15 minutes, but I did do a, a detail episode for ESPN Plus on Jason Tatum in Game 5. Okay. And you are exactly right about how they are defending, and, defending him and how they're making it hard for him. One of the things that they're doing, he's constantly hunting Steph Curry or Jordan Poole, trying to get a switch on them. And then he backs it out, and he's in that sort of slot area towards the top of the key. Golden State, as soon as he does that, is bringing a second help defender. It's usually the low man. Sometimes it's Draymond. Sometimes it's Clay. Sometimes it's Gary Payton. They bring him over early before he ever goes into his move. And instead of just getting off the ball and starting a rotation, getting Golden State in rotation like he did in game one in the fourth quarter, he's driving into that traffic. And the second thing he's doing almost all the time on his drives is he's jumping off of one foot. And when you jump off of one foot, you're eliminating – What's behind you? You're eliminating what's across from you. He, he's constantly making these tough passes. They're leading to all those turnovers. And as you said, I think you nailed it. He's driving for contact. He's trying to do a James Harden rip through. James Harden is six foot four. Jason Tatum is six nine, six ten. Why are you trying to rip through on Steph Curry or Jordan Poole? You don't have to do that. You just got to shoot over the top. To your point about Jalen Brown, by the way, I don't think – they win game six and game seven unless both of them have big nights. You're probably right. Both of them. I don't think one of these either guys. Either game or, or you're saying. Either game. 
I think it, I so think a requirement is both of both them games. to have big nights. And I'm not saying they got to go for 40. They've got to be efficient from the field. Specifically, Tatum on twos has got to make some twos. Mm-hmm. And they've got to have a low turnover night. And, and that is the barometer for this team. When they have low turnover nights, they win. When they have high turnover nights, they lose. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.